Hola, ¿cómo están? Welcome back to my channel, Learn with Rafaela. If you like my content, don't forget to subscribe, smash the like button, and send this video to your friends. Let's get started with lesson number four in Portuguese. A pronúncia das vogais. Today, we're going to improve the pronunciation of oral vowel sounds in Brazilian Portuguese. And in the next video, we're going to focus on nasal sounds in Portuguese. Like in English, Portuguese has five vowel letters. We have multiple sounds for each of them in Portuguese. How many vowels do you have in your language? And how many sounds? Let me know in the comments. The first vowel we are going to be learning today is the vowel A. A. And in this case, the letter A has two sounds in Portuguese, okay? Remember, the topic of the day is oral vowels. Then we are going to be focused on that. Well, the first sound is a, a, alho, árvore. Don't forget to repeat after me, okay? A, uh, the second sound, a, uh, is a closed sound. Plano, repeat, plano. Câmera, câmera. Do you remember what is that above the letter A? We've talked about a little bit about that in other videos. Then this accent is used in that case to mark this sound, this closed sound. Uh, is closing the vowel, okay? Then let's repeat again. Câmera, câmera. The first sound is a, a, and the next one, the second one is a, uh, a, uh, plano, plano, okay? Don't forget to repeat after me, that's very important. And also, in other videos, we're going to be focusing on the pronunciation of the consonants, okay? Well, let's check those examples. A árvore cresce no quintal. The tree grows in the backyard. O plano de aula está bem estruturado. The lesson plan is well structured. The second vowel, the next one, is E or E. Remember, if you watched the video about the alphabet, the name of this letter could be E or E, right? But we have three sounds for this same vowel. Let's start with the open sound. E, E, ética, café, coffee. Café, okay? Um, remember, this accent above the letter E, it's to open the sound, okay? In this case. It's also to mark uh, where it's going to be the strong syllable, okay? But for now, our mind is only focusing on open, closing sounds, open and closed sounds and pronunciation of the oral vowels. The second sound of this letter is a more closed sound. E, 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 Miss, Le. Okay? Let's keep learning about those sounds with those two examples. Repeat after me. Gosto de começar o dia com uma xícara de café forte. Este mês, see, close sound, mês, the accent above the E is going to close the sound. Este é um mês especial. The letter L at the end of especial has the U sound, but we are going to talk about that later, okay? Cheio de comemorações. Wow, those words are kind of difficult, right? But that's, that's it. When you're learning a new language, you need some challenge, ok? I'm going to repeat once again. Gosto de começar o dia com uma xícara de café forte. Este mês é um mês especial, cheio de comemorações, ok? The next and 
uh, last sound for oral sound about the letter E is the reduced sound, okay? This is, that's a question that I receive a lot from my students. Why in some words the E sound like an I, okay? And we have a reason for that. The letter I, the sound of the letter I, has these um, easy, it's an easy bridge to connect to other words. It's the same with the letter U, okay? Then let's practice. Noite, noite, perigo, perigo. You can say also perigo, that's totally fine. But you hear perigo. Noite, you can also hear noite, noite, with a different pronunciation. Remember, Brazil, it's a huge country with many ways to pronounce the words. And we are fine with that. Okay, I am providing you here a guide to uh, most common ways to pronounce, okay? It's not about right or wrong, okay? Then, the reduced pronunciation occurs, basically, when the letter E comes at the end of a word. It's pronounced as in the English word uh, bangi, E, bangi, the E sound, okay? Let's check those examples. A noite está estrelada e tranquila. Evite entrar em locais com sinal de perigo or sinal de perigo, ok? Next vowel is the I, I, the letter I, right? Corresponds to the sound in vinho, vinho, wine. Okay, vinho means wine. Let's check the example. Um bom vinho pode tornar qualquer refeição, refeição, it's a meal, especial. Okay? Now let's talk about the vowel O. O. Remember, if you watch the video about the alphabet, you know that the name of this vowel, the name of this letter could be O or Oh, okay, let's now focus on the sounds of this vowel. Well, the first sound is the open sound, like in avó, avó, it means grandmother. And posso, then repeat the sound, o, o, and the next one, the second sound is o, o, o. Okay, avô. Can you try to repeat that? Avô, open, avô, and avô, avô. Okay, remember, the accent that it's like this, right? It's like a hat. That's how I learned when I was a kid in Brazil. Then this accent that looks like a hat, it's to close the sound. Close the sound, okay, like in avô. Well, then the second word, as an example, it's going to be ontem, ontem, yesterday. Let's repeat all the words once again. Avó, open sound, avó, posso, avô, close sound, e ontem. Let's learn with more examples. A casa da minha avó... É cheia, plain, full, de memórias felizes. Vamos celebrar o aniversário do meu avô. Okay? I know that the examples, they have a lot of new words, probably if you are a completely beginner, but this is going to be good for you because once, you, while you were learning the pronunciation of the vowels, you're also, without thinking about it, you're learning new words and you're learning how to pronounce the consonants as well, okay? Without focusing too much in the grammar and rules at the same time, okay? The last vowel of today's lesson is the letter U. U, okay? The vowel U. U, U, that's the pronunciation in Portuguese. 
Uh, let's repeat the example. Último. It means last. Último. And we have a phrase as an example to finish this part. Este é o último capítulo. This is the last chapter. U. Okay? Let's get started with lesson number five. A pronúncia das vogais nasais. Em português. Today, our goal is to improve the pronunciation of nasal vowel sounds in Brazilian Portuguese. And what are nasal vowels? The nasal vowels are those you have to pronounce using your nose and your mouth. The first nasal vowel we are going to be learning today is um, um. And you're going to found those nasal sounds with combinations as am, an, and the letter A with this sign above, which is the sinal de nasalização. When, once you see this, this sign, you have to make this pronunciation, uh, this sound, uh, okay? Let's practice with examples because it's easier like that. Campo, campo, don't forget to repeat after me. Campo, planta, ilusão. We have more examples. O campo está florido. A planta precisa de sol. A ilusão se desfez com o tempo. The next nasal vowel is em. Em, as in tempo. Centro, em viagem. Viagem. You're not gonna say viagem. Viagem. Okay? You're gonna say viagem, viagem. You're not gonna close your mouth, okay? That's the correct pronunciation, viagem. Let's practice a little bit more with those examples. O tempo voa quando nos divertimos. O centro da cidade é movimentado. Estou planejando uma viagem. The next vowel sound is in. In. <laughs> Sounds funny, right? Repeat after me. Importante. Interior. Sim. Yes. Okay, you're not going to say sim. You'll say sim. And you're going to find those sounds with this combination. I am, I am. More examples. É importante estudar todos os dias. O interior do país é tranquilo. Você quer um café? Sim, por favor. Remember, those examples meant to be useful not only for pronunciation, but also to help you improve more vocabulary, ok? To improve your vocabulary knowledge. The next nasal vowel sound is with the letter O. Um, um in combinations as OM, ON, and the letter O with the sign of nasalização. Let's repeat these examples. Ombro, longo, ilusões. Again, ombro, longo, ilusões. Let's practice a little bit more. Ela colocou a mão no ombro do amigo. O caminho é longo, mas vale a pena. Ilusões podem nos enganar. The last nasal vowel sound is um, um, um. The U with M and the U with N. As in comum, segundo. Let's check those examples. Um minuto tem 60 segundos. O respeito é um valor comum em todas as culturas. It's time to talk about homework. Don't forget to download the PDF and complete the quiz that I prepared for you. Don't miss out this opportunity to improve your knowledge in Portuguese. Muito obrigada. See you next class.